Well, hello there, and welcome to another. Are you ready, Barbie? Yeah, kid. I'm a Barbie girl and a Barbie. No. Copyright. <laughs> We're not singing that song here. But if you came for that, you're on the wrong area. Welcome to the video. Welcome, one and all nerds. And all you juvenile delinquents also, too. We nerd out. The channel where we, well, you know. Nerd out. <laughs> yeah, we nerd out. And in this video, we're going to be going over our top five favorite GameCube games. This is the video. We love GameCube. Let's get into it. Well. Number five. Some of us like it a little bit more than others. <laughs> but yes, number five. Number five. My number five is Mario Kart Double Dash. Which I still have not played yet. You will. This week. I hope. Double Dash is like regular Mario Kart, but with two people on one cart. And you have to battle it out to see who wins the race. Um, the person on the back controls the item that you get. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you can switch between them. I could be wrong. But I think you can hold up to two items if i'm not mistaken Ooh, maybe i'm not nice. i'm not sure i haven't played it in a while yeah maybe like two blue shells that would blue shells are rare though <laughs> yeah they are and you wouldn't even be able to keep both of them because you have to use at least one yeah maybe like keep <laughs> two red shells that'd be awesome automatically the hits automatically hits the driver in yeah. front of you and then they try to get in front of you again like nope throw another another red shell out bye bye <laughs> <laughs> the bananas still suck in this game. I'm just oh. saying, I hate the bananas. Oh, they still but suck. But I hate bananas in every Mario Kart game, so. And he especially <laughs> hates them in Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart. You have no idea. Mario Kart 64 is the worst. Yeah, that's, that's what I was referring to, yeah. Especially on the ice level. Come on. Yeah. But anyway, my number Mario Kart five. Double Dash is amazing. Yes. And moving on to my number five, which ironically is also another Mario game. But it's Paper Mario. This needs a remaster. Yeah. The game's, the game's really, really fun. And um, as I said before in um, videos from years gone by, I only really remember playing this game like at a Walmart. Um, I th I'm pretty sure it was a Walmart, but I don't know what town it was in. Um, me, my dad, well, stepdad, my mom and my sister went to this Walmart. We went to it like multiple times to the point to where um, every time I would go, I would go to the video game aisle. And it was one of those things where they had video games that you could play there that was like connected yeah. to the shelf or whatever. Yeah, I don't have and, those anymore. And a TV. Seven. I would go there and I would immediately jump on it and I would play the game for a long time until mom and dad had to come get me and tell me that we were leaving um i can't remember what level i got up to but all i know is that the game was really really fun and you would think that i wouldn't care too much for it because there's also another um video game and i'm thinking like of a legend of zelda game but it's not like paper legend of zelda it's the one where zelda can like link can go into the wall and like oh. move around and then come back out of the wall. I can't think of what it's called, but it reminds me of that Zelda game. Four Swords? I think so, but I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a really good uh, Mario game. If you love Mario, then I, I can guarantee you that you will love this game. Definitely get this game if you haven't yep. picked it up yet. So, moving on to number four. Number four. My number four is... Smash Brothers Melee. Do I have to really say much about this game? It's a fighting game. It's Smash Brothers. Your favorite Nintendo characters in one game. Uh, Melee is one of the best Smash Brothers games by far. I remember playing at the card shop. And oh, yes. This one guy took Kirby, sucked uh, the other player in, or one of them. And jumped off and just spat him out, and then they both died, and he won. So that's how fun <laughs> this game is. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do stuff like that. Yeah, and I, and I'm a fan of Smash Bros. games. 
Um, I haven't played the Switch one yet. So. Yeah. Where um, uh, I have two favorite Smash Bros. games. Um, well, one of them is obviously the one from the Nintendo 64. I mean, if I had to make a list of top five favorite Smash Bros. games, that one would actually be number two, whereas my number one would be the one where Lucario first showed up. Yeah, the Wii one. Wii game. That one would be uh, my number one. Because once they started adding um, Pokemon fighters to the Smash Bros. games, it got better. It got way better, <laughs> especially with this most recent Smash Bros., where it has Incineroar in it and Greninja. Yeah. That is, is it's just awesome. And then they added um, Sonic the Hedgehog to it, which I still can't believe that they added Sonic, but they didn't end up adding Shadow or Silver. I think Shadow. Or, or Knuckles. Shadow is a uh, trophy, I believe. Yeah. So it kind of sucks, but. Yeah. Now, my number four is Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Ooh, two fighting games. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> now, I love Dragon Ball Z, and I love the Dragon Ball Z games. Um, fun fact, by the way, um, I actually had a Dragon Ball Z sleeping bag where you see Trunks, the way he's holding his sword right now. Uh, Trunks was doing the same exact pose on my sleeping bag. Just fun fact. In that picture on the on the cover of the game, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Dragon Ball Z games. My favorite Dragon Ball Z game, which um, my friend right beside me can vouch for it, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. I downloaded the game, and in the same night, I beat it. I yeah. Bed run that game so freaking fast. My favorite Dragon Ball Z game is Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Mm -hmm. That's a very fun game. But yeah, if you love beat em up games and if you love Fighting Dragon games. Ball Z, then you will love this game. Yeah, this game is really good. Yeah. On to number three. When it comes to number three um, on mine, it is one of my favorite cartoons growing up. And that's the misadventures of Ed and Eddie. Mm -hmm. This game is so fun. If you like Ed and Eddie, get it. It's such a great game. It's funny. Um, I should go back and play it again. Honestly, yeah, you it, should. It's it's that fun. Um, I can't remember too much on it, but it's a three D version of Ed and Eddie, I, I believe. So, what's there not to love? Right. Come on now. It's Ed and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> now, my number three, I don't really have much to say about mine either because I don't remember much about it, but it's a Rayman. Rayman 3, yeah, to be specific. Um, as I said, I don't remember much about it. Um, if you love Rayman games, then you'll love this one. Um, ironically enough, the only one I do remember playing was Rayman Raging Rabbits. That's the, oh, yeah. that's the one I remember the most of. But, um, yeah, sorry. I don't have much to say on this one except for the fact that it's a really good game and it's um, just really fun and adventurous. Most Rayman games are fun. Most of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rayman Legends, the most recent one, was okay was my favorite, but it was okay. Yeah. Still fun. All right, I mean, it's Rayman, so. Yeah, moving on to number two. On to number two. My number two is a Pokemon game. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and it's uh, the second in the series of this specific game. Mm -hmm. That is Pokemon... Gale of Darkness. That I still have not played. I'm so angry at myself. Play the first one. Well, you don't really need to play the first one in order to play this one, but this one is by far the best out of the series. Mm -hmm. Not entirety of Pokemon, but like those two games. Yeah. Um, this game is really fun. It's not like the main series games. It's 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 its own thing. 
you start off with the uh, Umbreon and Espeon, then you have to find all the Shadow Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. I, the first Shadow Pokemon you encounter is a Pineco, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but yeah. um, that's one of them you get, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And ironically, in Pokemon Go, they were doing Shadow Pokemon also. Yeah, they need to bring back Shadow Pokemon. They were so fun. They were so fun. Yeah. This game is really fun. It's a 3D... It was the first 3D version of Pokemon, I believe. Wasn't that Pokemon Stadium? Uh, I mean, RPG-wise. Oh, okay. Wasn't it like an actual Pokemon Battle Simulator? But it was its own thing, uh, completely different from the original Pokemon games, but it was so much fun. Yeah. Now, my number two, and I just now noticed this, it also has XD in the title. And that's <laughs> Sonic XD Director's Cut. DX. Yeah. They got switched around. Oh, my bad. They did this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it still has an X and a D. Yeah. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic, I love the shows, I love the games, I love everything about it. And this one is hands down probably, well, it, it, it is my favorite Sonic game based on Sonic. Um, just him in particular. Because there's also other Sonic games, but like, uh, there's that one Sonic game where you, you battle with three people. There's, Sonic battle? No, it's where you can, you can battle... With and there's Sonic Knuckles and Tails on your team. Oh, Sonic Heroes. Oh, Sonic Heroes. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it was. I thought you were talking about Sonic Battle for a second. <laughs> but I love Sonic Adventure, uh, especially the theme, because my friend can tell you I have a Sonic the Hedgehog playlist. Mu music playlist on my YouTube, and there's just been days where I just put the playlist on replay and just listen to the songs over and over and over again. Songs are just that good. Mm -hmm. Honestly. And I can't wait to play the new Sonic Racing game. Team Sonic Racing? Yes. Yeah, because the same guy who sang the songs in this yeah. did that one. Yep, Crush 40 came back and they he that the band uh, sung the new song for yeah. the Sonic Racing game. He still sounds good. Oh yeah, and we, we were so hyped all of us Sonic fans that was that is so interested in Crush 40's music, the hype level was insurmountable. It was so awesome. Speaking of Sonic, though, uh, Team Sonic Racing, I I like it, but I really wish they brought over Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform to the Switch. Yeah, it was on the Wii U, and it's on PC. But I wanted it over on the Switch because that game was really fun. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was so fun. Oh, yeah. And like I said, this game was really fun. I can remember my first time playing it. I was living at my parents' house, and I became best friends with my neighbors across the street. And they would constantly invite me over. And he, uh, we would go up to my friend's bedroom. And that was actually also the first time where I got introduced to my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie, The History of Trunks. Because I found that uh, VHS and he let me play his GameCube. And the game that he let me play was Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. And I got <clears throat> hooked on it just like that. <laughs> it was so much fun. The levels are awesome. The music is awesome. The whole thing is just awesome. I yeah. give it, I give it a strong 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 out of 10? No, uh, 9 out of 10, because the graphics could have been a little bit better. Well, but, it is GameCube. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite level that I can think of right now is whenever you're um, where you're being basically chased by the killer well, and it's like destroying everything right behind you, and oh, it looks yeah. like Sonic's running right at the screen. Yeah. I think that might be like the, maybe like the first level, the first or second but anyway, it's it's a lot of fun. Very fun. On to number one. Let's go. My number one is one of the best Zelda games. One of. Don't, don't hate me. <laughs> one of the best 
Legend of Zelda games. And that is Skyward Sword. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Twilight Princess. <laughs> Twilight Princess is so fun. I originally played through it again. Um, graphics could be better, but come on. Bring, remaster this. Bring it over the Switch. We need it. <laughs> but this game is really fun on the GameCube. Um, the controls are a bit wonky at some points in the game. But other than that, one of the best Zelda games. Uh, Link turns into a wolf because he gets cursed. And then Minda has to come in. Ooh, oh, Minda. Min yeah. Oh, my. Such a good character in this game. Oh, uh, my. And then you get to switch between Link and the wolf. Oh, my. It's, it's such a good game. Come down. Oh my God. <laughs> As you can hear, Preston loves Minda. She hot. <laughs> anyway. Preston so, still hasn't even played Twilight Princess yet. He really needs to. I know, but I've seen gameplay of it. That's how I know I want to play it. You really need to play it. I know. Check it out for yourself. Yeah. So, moving on to my number one in the end of the video for you guys, so you don't have to listen to me <laughs> fangirl over Minda. You don't have to hear us talk anymore. <laughs> But anyway, my number one is Beyblade V Force. Beyblade. Yeah. Let it rip. Now, my friend here actually talked to me but while we were in the process of getting everything set up. Like, dude, you know, like, how come <laughs> Beyblade's not like your number two and Sonic's your number one, man? Do I really sound like that? I sound like Cheech. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can sound like Chong. I want to sound like Cheech. Oh, man. <laughs> But anyway, um, and to answer his question to where you guys can hear me. I think we're parked, man. <laughs> um, Beyblade of uh, V-Force is my, my number one. Beyblade. That's why I said. You said Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's my number one because um, it's actually the very first game I played on my GameCube. Because, yes, I did own a GameCube. And the process of how I got a, went about getting it was really weird. Because my aunt was um, in between boyfriends because she's had like thousands of them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hashtag personal talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, she basically like, um, well, I was like going through midlife crisis. <laughs> no, she was going through her, the house where her and this bo her boyfriend lived during a midlife crisis. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> but um, she was going through the house and she seen this box this cardboard box and it had a whole bunch of stuff in it and one of the things they had on it was a purple gamecube ironically enough because i'm drinking soda with that's in a purple can and his keyboard has a purple light on it right now yeah fun fact and my mouse does right now too <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um she didn't want it or anything and my cousin andrew didn't want it so i was at my grandparents house she brought it over and she gave it to me and the only game that came with it was Beyblade V-Force. So that was my intro into the GameCube life. And I played it and I liked it. It was really fun because I'm the kind of person where I'd rather battle against AI instead of actual people. Yeah. And this game lets me do it. You can choose whatever Bay you want and then you can choose your opponent and their Beyblade. And you could just like battle it out and have fun. And there's actual buttons where in the anime, when they're battling their bays, that that the spirit of the Beyblade comes out and you can see it attack and stuff. That happens in the video game too, because there's a certain button you can push and you can press it any time and it'll like constantly do it in whatever. And it was just it's just a whole lot of fun. And by the way, my favorite Beyblader. In this season is Kai. Nice. I don't so. really. I didn't re enjoy Beyblade V Force when I played it, but it's just not my thing. I didn't care for it. I didn't enjoy the gameplay. Yeah. But that's just me. I mean, it's it, it's a cool game. It's just not for me. Right. So that'll pretty much wrap up this video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Tell us your top five favorite GameCube games down in the, down in the comment section below. 
We'll have all of our links to our social media, all the information stuff you need down in the description bar below. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense. And if there's nothing else to say, then we'll be wrapping this up. He's been Corey, I've been present, and I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time. We need to buy a GameCube again. <laughs> yeah, we do. See you later, guys. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.